In this video, we will be covering the external setup and operation of the JVC 850. First, we'll go over the tripod you will need to use for this camera. Make sure you're using the satchel tripod with the green accent on the head. The numbers here indicate how smooth the head will be moving while tilting or panning. When setting up the tripod, you always want to make sure you are unlocking from the top and then the bottom. This ensures that you will have a more secure balance. To demonstrate how the plate will fit onto the tripod, you will first need to identify the direction of the arrow. This direction indicates where the camera should be pointed. You will then slide the plate in the direction. Well, that was the wrong way, but that's okay. Just practice. It makes perfect. You should hear a click when it is on. On the side, there is a knob. Twist it clockwise to tighten the plate and double check to make sure it is secure. And there you have it. Now, with your camera, you want to make sure you check the bottom to see how you will mount it on the tripod. This shape fits perfectly with the adapter plate and you want to make sure you are aligned. When sliding it in, once again, you should here click and make sure it is secure. Moving on to one of the most important steps, you want to make sure you balance the camera. There's a knob that allows you to tilt the camera and if you let it loose, the camera will fall by itself. To counter this, you want to tighten the knob with the camera's balance. Under the head of the tripod is a handle on the center column which allows you to shift the balance of the camera. You want to look for the bubble right above and make sure it is centered. Then tighten the handle to secure the balance. When mounting the battery onto the camera, you want to identify the three prongs and make sure they align with those on the camera. Once you have that, Slide it in horizontally to the right and you should hear a click. Moving on to the most important buttons and switches worth checking before filming are these on the left side of the camera. The ND filter is most useful in harsh lighting conditions. Flip the switch up to your desire to filter the amount of light coming in. Make sure to always have it off when indoors because it is most likely unnecessary. You also want to check the gain and white balance. The gain switch is basically like your ISO. Increasing gain to age in other words, high, increases the apparent brightness of an image at a given exposure. It brings in more light, but will also give your image more noise. You want to make sure it is on L or low at all times unless needed for darker settings. As for white balance, you can press this button here to set the white balance. Make sure the switch is on A while doing so and hold a white paper or object in front of the lens to get a proper white balance. On the right side of the camera, we've also got important things to take note of. Here, we have the SD card slots. There is SD card slot A and slot B. Just slide the switches above the slots to open them. It's always better to have two SD cards just in case one runs out, but it's not necessary. Under this panel, we have our audio channel options. We'll most likely be working with channels 1 and 2. Make sure each channel corresponds to each input. For example, below the panel, input 2 corresponds with channel 2. You can have backup audio if one channel fails, which is good to have two channels of audio. To be able to hear your audio, you will need to plug in a headphone jack, or in this case, the built-in headphone piece works. You can choose how you want to hear your audio by switching from channel 1 to 2 or both. Right beside our headphone piece, we have the viewfinder. On the viewfinder, there is a dial called the diopter, which basically helps you see the contents in the viewfinder. You can adjust it to your vision, but note that this does not affect the quality of the footage itself. To the right of the lens, we have our right-hand control options. 
you can set the iris to automatic or manual and can use the lever to zoom in or out. Pushing down on T will result in a telephoto zoom where W zooms out and gives you a wider shot. Up at the top of the camera, you have similar controls along with the record button depending on how you hold the camera. Here we have the lens. Again, you can set the iris to auto or manual focus. But this first style is your focus ring. You can adjust it manually as you make adjustments with the iris, which is the second dial. And the last one here is your f-stop, or in other words, the aperture. In accordance, you can adjust your exposure levels and shutter speed using these buttons here by pressing up and down for shutter, or right and left for exposure. You just see changes on the viewfinder. When you've got down the basics, you can turn on the JVC 850 using the switch on the left side of the camera above the viewfinder. To take off the battery, you want to go ahead and press down and hold on the lever shown here to pull out the battery. To dismount the camera, there's a red and black lever located on the tripod adapter. You want to pull the red lever in and push the black one out. This will allow you to take the camera off. To remove the plate, you will go back to the knob on the side here and twist it counterclockwise to loosen it. Once you have that, push the red button beside it to fully release the plate. And that concludes the external setup and operation of the JVC 850. We've gone over some of the important fundamental functions to help familiarize yourselves with the camera. To deepen your understanding of the camera, make sure to get some hands-on experience as much as possible. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.